All right, how to make a a cheap, safe work like Fort Knox. All right, first thing you want to do is you want to put it in an undisclosed location, but not too undisclosed. You want you want somebody when they walk into the shed, you know, you want to cover it up, you know, with some boxes and stuff. You know, put pile some boxes and stuff in front of it make it look like it's halfway hidden you know make it look like you've you've put it in you know you don't want to you don't you want it in solid so it doesn't you know just walk off you want to make the thief at least work for it right all right so you do this and you cover it up make it look like you know they're going to have to work for it right you know and then when you're ready you know, um, get you a deer camera. Sorry, I'm not going to show you where the motion cameras are. And uh, you put it where anybody walking in the shed gets their picture taken secretly. You know, so they come in and they work and they beat on it with hammers and they get it loose and they take the whole safe off. You know, that's, that's what a thief's going to think. You know, hey, I'll just take the whole safe and open it later. So you're going to make them work for it, right? All right, so they get home and they beat it open, and what's inside of it? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to add a few more blocks and stuff, and uh, yeah, that's what. Anyway, you got to make sure it's bolted in, bolted to the floor. You know, you want it good and solid, and don't spend much. Get one of these like I did here at the yard sale. You know, cheap, hundred and fifty dollar safe. You know, put it in. Lock it up and keep your valuables somewhere else. Best way in the world. This is what you call burglar bait. Yeah. And then, you know, uh, if you're going to get a safe for your good stuff, you know, get a better safe. But as far as, uh, you know, keeping this where it's not easy, you can't make it too easy. In other words, you want them... You want them to spend time, you want the thieves to spend time, you know, maybe at least 20, 30 minutes, you know, trying to beat this thing out and get it out. You know, I'm going to make it heavier. I'm going to put some more weights, some, maybe some cinder blocks in it, make it heavy. So it take at least two of them to carry it out and they're going to carry it out and they're going to get it in their vehicle and they're going to speed off thinking, laughing, ha, 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 look, I've got a safe, I've got a whole safe full of stuff, and then they get home, and they beat it open, and what do they find, uh, some metal, you know, you got to have some metal stuff to rattle around so it'll sound like guns, you know, and keep some bolts, so, so when they rattle it, it'll sound like change, it'll sound like money's in there, and that's, and that's how you make a cheap safe work like a Fort Knox safe. Fort Knox works the same way. Yeah, that's right. There's no gold in Fort Knox. It's all up there in uh, New York City in the Re Federal Reserve Bank. <laughs> uh, the, the safe, this is what you call burglar bait. How to make, that's what I'm going to name the video. Burglar bait. Make a cheap sir, safe work like Fort Knox. There you go, YouTube. How's that? How's that for some, some prepper videos?